Hey, sorry I'm getting this Lincoln review up late. Hopefully, if history remembers me, which it probably and most definitely will not, but if it does, it won't remember me as the douchebag who got his Lincoln review up late and did Twilight before it, so yeah. <laughs> Lincoln. So Lincoln's directed by Steven Spielberg, and it's about pretty much the legacy of Abraham Lincoln, passing the 13th Amendment, which is the amendment to abolish slavery. And when I was going into this movie, I was like, all right, I'm gonna watch a three hour movie about Lincoln's life. These biographical pictures are like that sometimes, you know? It shows the entire person's life, 75% of it doesn't really matter, and that 25% is what you came for, you know? It's like the thick of it. This movie just does away with all of that. It's like, all right, let's concentrate on the last few months of his life and him trying to pass this 13th Amendment. And I loved this movie for that. I loved it for that and many other things. So Abraham Lincoln is portrayed by Daniel Day-Lewis, kind of. And by that I mean Abraham Lincoln is in this movie and that is simply that. You know the legend of Abraham Lincoln? The whole, he's all four score and seven years ago. But this movie portrays he wasn't like that. He kind of had hunched posture and he always talked like this, you know. He, he always had a story to tell about someone, someone he knew or someone he heard of anyway. I love that. It just peels back the legend of Abraham Lincoln and it gives us Abraham Lincoln the man. The human being. The person who's just trying to do something because he just feels it's the best thing to do. People have the right to dignity. Now this movie has an enormous cast. A cast of people who you're like, oh that person's in this movie. Oh wow that person's in this movie. That person's in this movie too. Jared Harris is in it. You know I love that dude. Joseph Gordon-Levitt's in the movie. Jackie Earl Haley. This movie has such an enormous cast. I'm not even gonna remotely mention everyone. James Spader's in this movie. I don't think James Spader ever knows he's being filmed. In the office and in Lincoln. They're just like, James Spader's doing something. Go, 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 go. Just film him. Tommy Lee Jones in this movie. Tommy Lee Jones is just intense. He's like Abraham Lincoln's opposite, you know. He will just get in someone's face and call him a snake and a piece of shit. Abraham Lincoln never really lost his cool. There were a couple scenes where he was like, you know what? Now it's the time to get a little intense and angry. But for the most part, he was just a really poised person. He just... He never melted down on anyone. Now, although the Civil War is going on in this movie, you don't really see a lot of the Civil War. You see another kind of war, a war in a room of politicians. And that's what this movie is. It's the war of words. It's the chess play that you have to do to pass something like this. Because this was unprecedented. People were like, well, abolish slavery. Let's not get carried away, please. But Lincoln's like, no, everyone has the right to dignity. We're going to pass this. And again, we don't get the legend of it. We get the reality of the situation, the fact that secrets are kept. No, you don't pass something like this and keep your hands completely clean. I personally love that. A movie like this can either bore the hell out of me or I will be so into it I will love every minute of it. I loved every single minute of the movie Lincoln. When they're doing the vote, you're just so intense. You felt it's built up to this so much. You're, you're just in tears. You can just feel the intensity in your eyes and tears were there. It's funny because you know the outcome, but when you're watching a movie, you, you lose that. A good movie will do that to you, make you lose bits of history as you're watching it. It's like the movie Lincoln's in the same tradition of the HBO miniseries John Adams. I watched John Adams, I loved it, and I was just like, I just wanted John Adams to live an unnaturally and almost magically long Long life. So I wanted to see Abraham Lincoln. It's like the universe heard that and they were like, hey Jeremy, here's an Abraham Lincoln movie. All right, now we got this. I'm really surprised that there's been no real movie about Lincoln that stands out in my head. There's not that, oh, this is the definitive Abraham Lincoln movie. I understand why, because it's so big. I'm sure filmmakers are like, love to do it. Not going to, because if I screw that up, I will, I will die. Life itself will blink me out of existence. Steven Spielberg's like, I'll do it. I did one about a war horse. So Lincoln is well directed. Saying it's well acted is an understatement. It's perfectly acted. Daniel Day-Lewis will get an Oscar nomination for this movie and probably win. It focuses on the point of Abraham Lincoln's life and legacy, which is the passing of the 13th Amendment. It keeps you interested. It keeps you engaged. It informs you and entertains you. That's all I want from a biographical picture. Lincoln absolutely is awesome-tacular. I know, I've given out like three of those in three weeks. It's absurd. I recognize I should not give out a lot of awesome taculars like that. Kind of dilute the currency at that point, but I also recognize that I fully believe all the movies that I've given Awesome Tacular to are Awesome Tacular. I'm not gonna skip out on giving Lincoln one because it's like, mm, well, you're getting a little carried away. Screw that noise. And on a side note, if you haven't seen the HBO miniseries John Adams, I suggest watching John Adams, especially if you've seen Lincoln and you like Lincoln. I think you'll probably like John Adams. So your favorite movie about a president, what would it be? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.